In this video, I'm comparing the strengths of PLA and PETG with four different tests. Breaking, boiling, freezing and baking. Sounds interesting? Come and join me. Hello, my name is Daniel. Welcome to the Crosslink channel. I would like to help you being more successful with 3D printing. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I'm gonna be in the comments section to answer all your questions. Let's get this. In the last video about PETG printing, we tuned in all the necessary settings to print PETG on the ANIT A8. And now it's time to put the PLA and PETG sticks into the stress test. The first test is going to be at which load the sticks are going to break at room temperature. So I'm using a crane scale to measure this. The second test will be to put them into boiling water to see how soft and deformable they get. And in the third test the PLA and PTG are frozen in the fridge for a few hours. Then I'm trying to break them to see if the material behaves different when being ice cold. The final test will be to bake them in the oven at around about 110 degrees Celsius to see how the external dimensions might change and if any warping is going to happen. Afterwards, we are going to try to break them again to see if baking changes anything about the structural integrity and strength of both filaments. Let's kick off the first test. How does the first test scenario work? I have this grain scale here which can hold up to 300 kg so this should be suitable to see how much weight this sticks can handle. The end of the first PLA stick is being fixed to the table using bar clamps. The protruding length over the table edge must always be the same to have comparable conditions for all the test candidates. Then the crane scale is hooked into the loop at the end of each stick. The other side of the scale gets hooked into a loop where we can pull off. My action cam is set to high speed recording at 120 frames per second to catch the moment when the sticks break. So let's kick off the first test and safety first. Okay, the stick broke at around about 30 kilogram. Um, final results coming later. And now I'm repeating the test with another two sticks of PLA to get the average value. Okay, let's look at the final results for the KaiserTech PLA. It can handle 30.7 kg of weight on average in our bending test. Next is to repeat the test with PETG. Let's see how it performs. Okay, surprise, the first PETG stick didn't break. I uh, wasn't expecting that. So let's see how the remaining two uh, behave, if they break or not. And then let's look at the final results. And now the final results for the Amazon Basics PETG. The sticks did not break, but bend it much more compared to the PLA at the same weight. That was my first surprise and I was wow, this material is really flexible, but it holds the weight pretty good. I was really hanging in with all my weight, getting to a peak weight of 40 kg, but still could not rip it off. Definitely we need to do some more testing on it to see how much stress it can handle in a real world situation. If you have similar experiences, I would really like to know yours. Tell me in the comment section, please. Okay, good. Let's do the next test. I'm pouring boiling water over a PLA stick. Let's see how easy it is to bend it afterwards. Now I'm doing the same test with the PETG stick. And for each part I'm doing two tries just to be sure I'm heating them up enough. What we can clearly see here is that the PETG part 
does not show huge signs of bending or visible marks of the gripper, it was really impossible to deform it. However, the PLA part got softer and I was able to deform it with the gripper clearly much easier. Now coming to our third test, I'm putting one PLA and one PETG stick in the fridge to see if that makes any significant difference in the weight test. Now let's see how both materials perform. Okay, from these results we see that both materials perform similar regarding the amount of weight they can take until they break coming from the fridge, but PETG still is much more flexible at the same comparable weight. Now we are up for the final test, baking PLA and PETG in the oven. Thomas Sanladere did a video about this and I was curious to try it out for myself and especially see if and how it affects the PETG at all. Check out his video, his link is in the description. So I'm using the same test conditions here, 110 degrees Celsius and one hour of baking. Let's first have a look at the parts dimensions. The first thing you notice is that both parts seem to bend a little bit on the thin end. The other significant change is the external dimensions. The PETG shrink by 6.6% in length, the PLA shrink by 3.3%. Also a very noticeable change is the dimension of the loophole of the PETG, which shrunk by 16%. So where did all the material go? Mainly it went into an increased height of the sticks. PETG got 12% thicker and PLA about 10% thicker. After baking, I repeated the weight test and this were the results compared to the first ones. PLA broke at a weight of 33.7 kg, which is 3 kg better. And PETG did not break again, showing that it is still very flexible. This shows that baking can improve the strength of PLA by a few percent, but the external dimensions and shape might change. PETG is not performing different after the baking in terms of strength and flex, but the external dimensions change pretty drastically. I think these results are really remarkable. Let's discuss in the comment section what your experiences are. That's it for today. If you appreciate this video, please smash the like button, consider subscribing to my channel to support me creating new content for you and hit the bell notification icon if you wanna get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.